kids are heading to Wynwood to hear from big name speakers like Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey and skating legend Tony Hawk about the future of cryptocurrency. Local 10's Gio Insignaris reports. This event is sold out. Upwards of 50,000 people expected here at the Mana Convention Center in Wynwood. And some of the high profile speakers expected were also Congressman Ron Paul, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, and even skateboarding legend Tony Hawk. But aside from the big names, the big push here, the big showcase for this event is innovation, and particularly innovation here in South Florida. Tens of thousands expected to pack together for what's billed as the world's largest ever cryptocurrency conference. And what it means to have... But what is Bitcoin exactly? Well, it's a digital currency you can buy, sell, and exchange directly without a middleman like a bank. And that flexibility, along with the idea of its future potential, is what makes it so interesting for users and the organizers of this event. What does it look like when people get paid in Bitcoin, when people can order their coffee at Starbucks in Bitcoin? So it's a discussion about the future. Here in South Florida, those questions already being considered as Miami Mayor Francis Suarez hopes to establish Miami as a crypto hub. He's previously said he wants to allow workers to be paid in Bitcoin if they want. Additionally, the Miami-Dade County Commission passed a resolution in May to create a cryptocurrency task force. The 13-member task force is looking at the feasibility of allowing the county to accept cryptocurrencies as a form of payment for taxes, fees, and services. I think we're, you know, well within um, growing towards that. Since its inception, Bitcoin has ballooned from the hundreds of dollars to an all-time high in the 60,000s a couple of months ago before deflating again, sitting in the 30,000s as of this week. But that potential roller coaster ride comes with the territory for some attendees. It's a worthy concern uh, here in the States right now. That's the honest truth from my perspective. A anything that is new, for example, when they invented the wheel for the first time. A future that organizers hope to be leading the charge on. We know that advances in healthcare, advances in mobility and transportation, and of course, in currency and fintech are the next waves. And we want Miami to be the home for those things. When talking with organizers, there's a sense that futuristic change with regards to cryptocurrency isn't just going to happen overnight here in South Florida. But there is genuine excitement about what the future holds. And when asking them if there is a plan to have this conference and establish this foothold here in Miami beyond just 2021, the answer was, we hope yes, but for now we're just going to have to wait and see. In Wynwood, Gio Insignares, Local 10 News.